this is Asus, such a nice notebook PC. So today we're going to upgrade the SSD from HDD. By the way, the model number is Asus EVX410U, pretty decent, as I said from the finishing. Okay, so this one comes with 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. So today what are you going to do? We're going to try to upgrade with SSD, which is M.2 NVMe. But it does take both. If you want, you can install this NVMe or you can install this SATA SSD, okay? But this is pretty expensive, the Samsung one, I don't need it. So today I'm gonna use the crucial one instead of this Samsung. So let's do it. So first of all, what you need to do, we need to turn this off. By the way, this is the old hard drive that I already taken out and I'm gonna install that one, okay? So this machine, uh, we need to open it up from the rear, okay? And the actual rear is secure with few screws at the back. So we need to take out all the screws, okay? And also the Asus like to hide the screws under the pad. We need a couple of tools, the Phillips screwdriver, part of opening tool, and uh, the actual uh, Torx screwdriver. I do have the automatic one, as you can see. And also I do have the manual Torx one and the flat opening tool. So first is first, what are you going to do? We're going to take out the pad and open up the hidden screw. Make sure you do have the right tools. So first of all, under the pad, it goes the Philips one. And around the four sides, it takes only the Torx one. So the front two of them pad does have the screw underneath hidden and rest of them doesn't. So I'm going to open up these two. Now from the side where I'm going to open all of them one by one and all the torque screws same in size so don't worry about organizing there is none of them short or longer all of them same in size okay so once it open then we're going to use the flat opening tool and we'll try to sponge it out the actual back cover exactly like that so as you can see the machine is very very dirty okay and especially this heat sink and the cooling fan but first what are you going to do we're going to take out the battery before we attempt to any repair make sure you disconnect it which is secure with two screws and pull this out like that okay so i'm going to take my big home cleaner and give it a clean properly and make sure when you clean up with this sort of big home cleaner you keep the screws far away from the actual nozzle otherwise all the screw going to suck into the uh, back home cleaner and you're gonna have very difficulty to take those out so the actual machine is clean now and we can install the ssd now let's take this out this crucial p2 model m.2 nbme ssd it's pretty decent but the actual laptop comes without any um ssd heatsink okay but that's not a big problem anyway so it goes uh, exactly right there there is a screw make sure you take this out in case if you don't have the screw uh, you know might be you lost it or something then make sure you do have one otherwise the actual SSD wouldn't be secure okay so it goes here without any heat sink we're gonna plug it upside down that way and push it a little bit and then the actual screw alignment would be absolutely fine and without any trouble, you'd be able to put the screw into the place. And there is another option, which is the SATA option. Okay, right there. You can install uh, SATA SSD. The speed wouldn't be that much different, but this one a little bit expensive than the actual uh, SATA SSD. Okay, and I don't want to spend too much money. That's the reason I got it. Now it's absolutely free. There is not too much to worry and we can put back the actual screw. Don't forget to secure with two screws. First, the bottom part goes first and then you just need to push a little bit and make sure all the connectors are secure. So gently put two screws in the right place, which is one at the left of the connector, another one on the right of the connector. Once it's done, then we are good to go. We can put back the actual metal back cover, okay? And 
metal back cover is pretty odd you need to check the alignment correctly and push it down a little bit and don't forget to secure with two screws under the pad and make a little bit of crunch from the side and it's gonna make kind of click noise okay from all the way and then it's gonna be actual flatten and it will take the screws easily so before I forget I'm gonna put the screw which is under the pad one of them and another one in there and then we can put the actual uh, pad back and remember rest of the screws are in Torx so make sure you use the right tool okay so my green one is the actual one I'm gonna start from anywhere and those screws are not magnetic that's why uh, I had some difficulties but that's absolutely fine it's gonna go easily one by one So that's how you upgrade uh, M.2 SSD for this uh, NVMe uh, SSD for this model. Still if you do have any question regarding this model, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. me talk more details about this motherboard okay because quite frequently they leave text uh, and comments about to know more about the motherboard as you can see there is one slot but it, it takes the uh, oh, and only one slot and that is this one does have the built-in RAM okay that's the reason why one slot and there is NVMe M2 uh, SSD slot right here on the right hand side and also it does have 2.5 inch SATA connector so we can install easily any one of them